right, little feather. I didn't know you were training that hard. Let's take a break. Whew. All right. So, are you excited to be training with me and Endeavor at the same time? I mean, getting trained by the number one and number two hero. It's kind of a big thing. Surprise, you haven't made headlines yet. UA Academy student, trained by the best two heroes there is. <laughs> uh, come on, little feather. You know I'm just joking with you. In all seriousness, you're getting really good at controlling your quirk and whatnot. And your hand-to-hand -hand combat's getting better. I can tell. Hmm? Look. Everyone's worried about him. Even me. And I don't even know the kid personally. But it looks like he doesn't want to be a part of the UA Academy anymore. So we're letting him go. There's no use of bringing back a student that doesn't want to be a student. And plus, it doesn't really, it doesn't really look like he's becoming a villain at all. I mean, he's defeating small villains left and right, like bank robberies and whatnot. So, I don't know. Maybe he's doing it for his own self-being or something. Nonetheless, chasing him around would just be a wild goose chase, like I said. No use in it. But, if something clicks in him, it makes him want to attack the UA Academy. Well, let's just say he'll have a pretty bad time doing it. Because he has to fight a lot of heroes to get to you guys. And hell, maybe even All Might would put some sense into his head. Even though he's not the strongest anymore. He's still got that power inside of him. Somewhere deep. But... Besides that, <sighs> let me just sit back for a little bit. You know, just talk about some real life stuff. Well, yes, I know. Zuku's plans are real life stuff. I understand that. But I'm not talking about dark stuff right now. I want to talk about more about light stuff, you know? It's like, how you been? How has uh, school been for you, little feather? Just curious. Oh, that's good. Been getting those A's and B's. Good. That's what I like to hear. Hmm? Why do you want to talk about the LOV? Did something happen between you and LOV? Oh, you ran into them. Interesting. What were they doing exactly? So that's what started the fire. All right. Anything else besides that? I see. So you met a uh, tall guy, right? 
long white hair. Looked like he was kind of bleeding from everywhere. Yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. Where was the last time you spot them? Downtown. Okay. I will bring this information to Endeavor later. And maybe even put out a task team of some sort to like scout the main city. Anyway, do you know about that new restaurant that's opening up? That's also downtown. I hear they're about to make some really good changes to the restaurant, like putting some new items on the menus. Like, okay, I heard about this stuffed fried chicken they're trying. I don't know, but they said they're filling it up with like melted cheese and broccoli. It's like fried chicken, but they stuffed it. It sounds really good, and I want to try it. And then, and they have like a, uh, what was it? Some type of drink. I'm not. I'm not too familiar with it. No, it's not alcoholic. It's non-alcoholic, actually. Some type of lemonade, I'm not sure. But either way, this sounds good as hell. I want to try it. So, maybe this next week, or maybe two, you'd be, you'll be doing a lot of training. So, why don't you and I escape the clutches of that hothead endeavor for a day, and we just go hang out. Go to that restaurant. Try the new menu. Sound good to me? Sound good to you? Perfect. Hmm. Uh, I've, I'm still thinking about that uh, incident that you told me about with the LOV. They've been, they've been becoming a lot more active as of recent, and I'm not sure why. Either way, we're going to stop them, so don't you worry your head about it, little feather. Anyway. It is getting kind of late. Why don't we wrap up this session of training and we just call it a night. All right. Well, oh, before you go, I want to give you something. You know, as a little reminder of who trained you all these years before you get big and famous. <laughs> Oh, don't give me that look, little feather. Just close your eyes and then count to five. All right. Open your eyes. It's a necklace. I made it myself. I used one of my feathers. Here, let me put it on you. So anytime you feel worried or anything like that, you can hang on to that feather. And it will remind you of, well, me. And just know I'm always next to your heart. Forever and always, little feather. <laughs> no, no problem. Now, let's get out of here. The sun's going down. Do you need me to walk you home, or do you got it? 
You got it? All right. Uh, I'll see you here tomorrow, little feather. Remember, bring your A-game, because the hothead's coming. <laughs> see you later. <laughs>